What's going on guys? Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another Raid Shadow Legends video. So as you guys saw in the thumbnail, we are talking about Solo Wing, Spider, Ice Golem, and a Dragon with one champion, one build. We don't need to change anything or do anything. So we are going to be using our boy, Artak. I mean, this guy is just insane. Plarium, when you were giving him to us, when you guys were designing him, I'm really curious to find out what you guys were thinking, but let's get into the runs. All right, so we're going to start with stage five of hard mode spider, right? Now, you could put in an aura lead if you really need to or want to. You probably should, but I just want to showcase this that you don't need it, right? So stage five of spider, we are positive affinity, right? So that does work into our, um, you know, our side, right? So it works to our benefit. I think that's the word that I was looking for. <laughs> um, so again, it's going to be a, a little bit of a longer run, which, you know, is fine because we are soloing. So we're building them for, you know, just trying to be as efficient as possible on our accounts. Now, um, turn wise, we're probably looking, I think, at about 35, maybe 40 turns or something to that vicinity. Uh, the spiderlings do take quite a bit of turns. So it is what it is. Um, can't really help out with that. I think this one actually might go a little bit higher. Time-wise, we're usually looking at about a minute and a half, right? And for a solo farmer on your um, dungeons, that's not too bad. But our attacks coming in, we're about a minute now. Spider is about 50%. There we go. All we need is one more big nuke from our attack. And this is about where all the spiderlings start taking their turns and killing the mother spider. There we go. Uh, a minute 27, 51 turns. So it took a little bit longer. You can see here the best that I've done was 38 turns uh, at a minute 25. So let's get into dragon. Okay, so dragon, same thing. Stage 9 of hard mode, not 5, right? And we're talking again... Put an ore lead if you need to. It does help, right? Whatever food you're farming, put an ore lead in. All right, so stage nine of dragon, right? Again, put an ore lead in. It does help, right? 100%, but we're not going to do it in this one just to showcase that he can do it, right? So now it does get a little bit of touchy and go here um, where if Ferric and the Fat actually lands his 3% decrease speed it could it could hurt you it could be a failed run but i haven't had that happen so so far i haven't had any issues at all whatsoever with it um again it does take a little bit of time right you aren't going to be farming this in like 35 seconds like we do with the Celtus team but you know it, again it's about being efficient so about 40 seconds to go through the first wave, second wave coming in. Now, we did increase the speed on our Artak by quite a bit, actually. Um, I want to say I think we're close to almost 330 between his, um, his passive. Actually, maybe a little more, closer to 350 between his passive, between his um, area bonuses that he's getting along with um some of his mastery skills right so it you know if you can build him at that kind of speed without doing anything go for it uh but you're gonna find yourself being challenged quite a bit i would definitely love to be able to plus one my r tech all right so here we're at a minute 20 uh almost minute 30 at the boss um big thing here is brimstone right we have a five star blessing on him for brimstone and so it makes it really big that we can have that as a protected buff. No problems whatsoever. You can see here, right? Uh, you do want to make sure, again, the speed is the key. The brimstone is what does the most damage. Now, sometimes what will happen is you'll get him right to the end and he'll kill you as long as brimstone lands and he's at like 30% or 20% HP, you're going to end up getting it, right? Or somewhere around that vicinity, sorry. Um, all right, so stage nine, 202, right? Uh, turn count, 101, best time, 85. Let's get into Ice Golem. Okay, Ice Golem, same thing, stage nine, 
right? We're going to just uh, run it again without an or lead so you can see that it works. Now this one is going to be a little bit of a longer run because of the tutorials at the end, right? So it's not going to be as fun or as short. I think this one takes me roughly about three minutes. Um, but again, it is 100% consistent. So that's what I care about. Um, and it's being the most efficient possible, right? So we're about 27 seconds in. Ads are still up, but it is what it is. The only thing that would have made our tech better is if you could put up a block uh, debuffs. I think that would have been great. But uh, then he would have been void legendary status, right? Here we go. This is where everything starts taking, you know, it, it'll take us at least a minute to get this wave down. But um, remember, no War Master, right? War Master is a big no-no coming especially for Ice Golem. It could help you out in Dragon. But you're not going to lock this guy behind just one dungeon, right? We want to try to use him everywhere we can. And the build will work for Hydra, plus anything else you're planning on doing. Um, may even work for your hard mode spider team, right? Depending on what your speed needs to be, if he needs to go first or second. But this is actually going a little bit faster than what my usual runs are. There we go. Those tutorials with the increased defense and the block debuffs are just killing me. Okay, come on. And we got one Brimstone on. And for anybody out there that says Brimstone is not his best one, it is. Soul Reap comes up as a close second if you just use them for wave clear. But for soloing, Brimstone works the same. I mean, again, as in the last showcase you guys saw, he's, you know, melting the boss away. It's, it's just beautiful to see it. One of the hardest bosses in the game being taken down like butter, right? Two minutes, about two minutes 40, two minutes 35, 122 turns. 2 minutes 35, pretty solid. I'll show you guys the build. All right, so before we get into the build, uh, I just want to give a shout out to one of my clanmates, uh, C3X Molar. He was the one that actually shared this build with me. It wasn't too far off of what my original build was, um, but shared some information with me that actually helped me quite a bit to get him to this stage. Now, we still have him in a regen and perception set, right? Uh, Counter attacks are going to be better for him if we have him for the accessories. But if you don't, it is what it is, right? As for um, stats, sorry. As for stats, what are we looking at? Well, 80k HP is the minimum that we're going to want to do, right? Uh, 279 speed, right? We want to be closer to 280. 418 resistance and 358 accuracy. Now, when I switch over to um, Ice Golem, we don't gain anything at all, right? When I switch over to Dragon... We are going to gain 2 speed and about 2,000 HP with some defense, right? And a little bit of accuracy. When I gain over to Spider, we're going to gain about 12 speed, right? And we're going to gain a little bit of crit damage. I don't know why I went with crit damage on this. Just no idea. Probably my cold hearts because I wasn't trying to do something. But, um, you know, so you do want to focus a little bit of speed and survivability into those. Just a couple of, you know, ones will be fine. Two or three. As for the skills, we do have them fully booked, right? Again, Brimstone is what you're going to want to take for this. 100%. I'm confirming it now. It is the blessed blessing for Artak. Mastery-wise, they didn't change from last time. But they're still the same. We're going to go all the way down to Oppressor. We're going to take Spirit Haste. We're going to take Master Hexer, Lore of Steel, and Cycle of Magic. And then we're going to take Retribution, right? We're going to take Delay of Death. And we're going to take Resurgence. Now... I did try to go down and see if we could take Whirlwind of Death. Um, it wasn't working, right? Uh, you know, the defense tree does actually help quite a bit. I did like 20 runs just to see if it was like a one-off 3%. And out of the 20 runs, 18 of them failed when I went down the offense tree to try to gain the extra speed from this. So it's not worth it. Um, just follow these masteries and you'll be fine. Hopefully this video helped, guys. If it did, as always, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or, you know, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the build. And 
Much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.